Hello friends. Today we will discuss a very important topic in laser that is components of a laser or requirements to achieve a successful laser. The topics covered three main components of laser device are active medium, pumping source and in the pumping source we will discuss the types of pumping source and optical resonator system the first is active medium when energy is given to laser medium solid liquid or gas then only a small fraction of laser medium shows laser action this part of laser medium is called active medium or active center thus due to this reason the laser medium is also called the heart of a laser uh you can see uh if we will discuss the helium neon laser and in helium neon laser the helium and neon is the laser medium but neon is the heart of helium neon laser another example is uh, in the case of ruby laser al2o3 is doped with the cr2o3 the laser is due to Topped chromium ions. Thus, chromium ions are active center. In helium neon laser, as I have discussed, the laser is produced with neon atoms. Therefore, neon atoms are active center. This is the construction diagram of helium and neon laser. Pumping source. This is the very important part of a laser component. as we have discussed in the previous in the previous articles in the previous lectures that principle of laser is stimulated emission and for it to take place population inversion has to be achieved and maintained for this there must be a source of external energy which can continuously supply energy to energy to laser medium so that population inversion can be achieved pumping source such a source of external energy is called pump or pumping source and the process of supplying external energy to laser medium so as to achieve the population inversion is called pumping uh in other words if you want to excite electrons or atoms to the higher energy state you have to provide external energy that external energy will be provided with the help of pumping source for example in ruby laser we used optical pumping in helium neon laser we use electric discharge pumping that is fast moving electrons they collide with the mixture of helium and neon and they transfer their energy to the mixture so that helium and neon excited to the upper level so pumping source means that pumps the electrons or atoms or ions from the lower state to the upper state if they pump the electrons from the lower state to upper state it means only then the population inversion will happen types of pumping source depending upon the type of laser the most commonly used pumping methods are listed below optical pumping in this the population inversion is achieved by means of light energy because you are aware that optical word comes from optics and optics means light by means of light energy delivered from appropriate pumping source such as gases discharged flash tubes for example in ruby laser xenon flash tube is used i will discuss when i will uh upload the video lecture i will discuss the video lecture on ruby laser the working and construction of ruby ruby laser electric discharge 
This type of pumping accomplished by means of intense electric discharge in the medium and is particularly suited to gas media like helium, neon gas, laser and CO2 laser. The electric discharge converts the gas into a plasma where active centers collide inelastically with free electrons and population inversion is achieved. Chemical pumping. It raises active centers into the higher energy levels by means of suitable exothermal chemical reactions in the active medium. Heat pumping. In this type of pumping, the active material is first brought to a high temperature, then rapidly cooled down. So these are the various methods of pumping. Optical resonator system. An optical resonator is a system or setup which is used to obtain amplification of stimulated photons by oscillating them back and forth between system of two mirrors. Thus it consists of two plane or concave mirrors. One of the mirrors is partially reflecting, having reflectivity less than 100% and other is totally reflecting, having reflectivity almost 100%. Here you can see the optical resonator system. The optical word comes from optics, that is light, and resonator word comes from resonance. Resonance means to match. Here we match the frequency of photons. Laser output is received from partially reflecting mirror. Here you can see the same. The space between the two mirrors is called cavity. This you will be able to understand more clearly when I will discuss the working of ruby laser or helium laser. But here I can uh, tell you that the optical resonator system increases the population of photons. The one photon will be reflected back into the medium. It will act as a stimulator and will achieve the or will start the stimulated emission. So one photon will be excited of the excited for example one chromium ion or one neon to the ground state. So there will be two photons during stimulated emission. Then two photons will strike this mirror and they will reflect it back to the medium and two photons will result into four photons and then reflect it back from this mirror and this process will continue. So at the end we will get the laser output from the partially reflecting mirror. Dear friends, these are the components of laser or the essential requirements to achieve laser. For the reference, please search our website venusscience.com. Please subscribe to our channel. If you want to purchase laser ebook, please email venuscience at gmail.com. Thanks.